Hi there, this is Molly. Welcome to my channel as we take a look at the Cancer New Moon Solar Eclipse, which I'm calling the Mega Eclipse here, and it'll be exact June 21st, 2020 at 2.41 a.m. Now keep in mind, this could be June 20th for you, depending on your location on the planet. So it's June 20th, 21st, and it is a Mega Eclipse that is rare and powerful and continues these very unusual energies that we're moving through in 2020. So let's take a look at what is going on here because it is unusual to say the least and it is happening at zero degrees of Cancer. The Sun and the Moon are conjunct together on the same page creating a new intention in harmony creating a new understanding of what is ready to blossom and grow and this is an eclipse at what's called an Aries point. The Aries point is zero degrees of the cardinal signs, which are Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. It is a very big energy at a world stage level. This is world changing energies. Uh, this is the energy of inception, of beginning points, of something brand new coming through in your life at zero degrees of Cancer. So find where this is in your natal chart, which house it's located in, because you're starting a whole new cycle of energy, a whole new chapter. And the house placement is the area of life where this new nurturing energy is coming through. So in Cancer, it's compassion and kindness, it's support, it's opening up your heart, it is divine feminine energy. This is an influx, a huge incoming wave of energies that are going to open up our hearts individually and collectively and also bring in more of the feminine energy that we need to move through the rest of 2020. Now, we're going to have very strong Mars in Aries energy in the second half of this year. So what we need is to really understand how to make the most of this powerful feminine energy so that we can be operating with an open heart, with compassion and kindness for ourselves, and also understand that it's okay to be feeling what you're feeling right now. That's one of the gifts of cancer, is that you flow with the emotions, you trust what comes through, you don't bottle it up, you understand that it's part of the flows of life, and that there's something here that is coming through the heart chakra. It's coming through to open up also what you're ready to receive. And that's the other part of healthy cancer energy. It's the reception. It's that yes, you can be giving and nurturing and caring, but you have to receive for that to be truly a healthy dynamic. So there could be an energy here of you're going to receive something that's been in your heart that you really truly want. And it can be very private. You know, this is uh, cancer is, a, is private in, in terms of our inner world and what we keep to ourselves. And it's something that opens up a place in your heart to receive what you really need. And because it's a brand new energy coming in, it's going to unfold over at least a year, at least a year. So know that this is the opening up and then being receptive to what shows up or comes through. So this eclipse only happened one other time in your life. And that was in June 2001. We had an eclipse at zero degrees of Cancer. What world-changing event happened in 2001? Pop quiz. Here's a hint. It was in September of 2001. Um, and this is similar in that it brings in world-changing events. But it's meant to open our hearts, trust how we feel, and understand what's going on within us first. Now, this eclipse point didn't happen in the previous century at all, and it makes it very unique and very powerful in your journey at this time. The other thing that's really fascinating about this whole chart is that the sun and the moon are conjunct the north node, uh, which is now in Gemini, but they're not making any other aspects to any other planets. The sun and the moon are in their own 
land here. They're in their own territory. They're not interacting with the other planets. Bring in emphasis to also that cancer energy of personal space, sacred space, where you go to feel safe. As world events happen, as collective energies unfold, this is going within and connecting with your heart, your needs, what is true for you now so that it can come through and show up within your energy field. And there's something about, because it's a new energy, it does take time to develop and grow. Um, Cancer is associated with the womb, uh, with pregnancy. And so there is this inception energy of energetic pregnancy, energetic development, something coming through to be birthed and trusting trusting that process. So the other thing that's notable about this chart is all the planets that are retrograde. So this Mercury uh, just stationed retrograde the middle of June. Venus is still retrograde, but she's going to station direct June 24th, 25th. And then we have these three all retrograde together. Here we have Saturn at zero degrees of Aquarius. Uh, Saturn will enter Capricorn again on July 1st. And so in July, we're going to have all three of these in Capricorn again, all retrograde. You can see that this Jupiter is at 25 degrees retrograde, approaching the second conjunction to Pluto at 24 degrees Capricorn retrograde. And this conjunction, so when Pluto, um, excuse me, when Jupiter gets to 24 degrees, uh, which will actually happen um, the, June 22nd, it's going to be traveling with that conjunction to Pluto for the second time for 10 days. And the first time we had this conjunction was the end of March into April when a lot of things were being shut down and closed with the quarantine with the virus um, and how that affected world events. So we're going to check in on that here. The end of June will be a checking in period as we have that second conjunction. So There's a lot happening in the world. There's a lot that we're reprogramming within ourselves um, mentally and at a base level of confidence and loving ourselves. And this is an eclipse that's helping you with this new chapter in your life. As these retrogrades happen, it means that the energy goes inside first. It has to be internalized and understood to best support you. And then the energy will come out and come forward and blossom and grow. And growth is one of the ways that the healthy cancer energy matures, uh, where it feels safe to say how it feels. There has the ability to be emotionally expressive without being needy or defensive or feeling too vulnerable or too sensitive, Um, but it requires time within first to understand what you're really feeling and even the origins of those feelings. Uh, Because it's cancer, it can be connected to family, uh, mother, your community, where you came from, your lineage, genealogy, um, anything in your immediate environment when you were younger. And this connection to the North Node is the growth trajectory. So there's a growth here that's happening with this brand new cycle that's coming in. And yet it's a very feminine energy. So it's asking you to look at the respect and love you have for your divine feminine self, her process, her expression, her needs, her intentions. And I feel like this is going to activate at a global level downloads of feminine energy to balance out anything that's been too excessive uh, in the patriarchy, in the world, in leadership, in, in ourselves, anything within ourselves that's been operating excessively where the masculine energy within us is wonderful. 
in what it can accomplish and get done, make decisions, move ahead and lead. And this is a balancing of those parts of ourselves that need a break, can take a break and understand that it's through that ability to receive that the universe can do its work and in a really magical way, in a very, it's almost like serendipity. It's, it's sort of like the things you can't control and you don't know um, what the solution is. I feel like this is an opening into that cosmic trust because you could look at it as, you know, cancer relates to the womb of creation and how everything can be created from multiple energies coming together that can't be controlled, that, that can't be orchestrated. Um, there's bigger cycles at play here. And I feel like this is a mega eclipse that leaps us forward into higher consciousness in ourselves, but also at a global level and is showing us more of what's in our hearts, more of what is ready to be understood and felt. Now, the North Node is done with Cancer, the North Node now in Gemini. So that means that there's something here around what you've transformed over the past year and a half as the North Node journeyed through Cancer for 18 months and opened up emotional wounds to be healed. And now that you've done that work over the past year and a half, this is a new starting point. This is the reset, okay? This is an emotional reset. This is a sense of recognition even that you've been working and healing and learning and understanding. And so now you can go further based on what you have moved through especially when it comes to these cancer themes of family and lineage and ancestry, uh, your mom, your stepmom, the women in your lives, what, what they've passed on to you, their, their values or what they find meaningful. There's a reset here that is now in higher alignment with awakening consciousness. And it's such a focal point that you won't miss it. You won't miss it. And again, you can go back and look at what transpired for you in 2001 and 2002. And then some people always say, oh, that was a horrible time, or oh, that was the best time. Um, don't evaluate it based on those types of energetics. It's not about good or bad. It's about who you were then and what you were learning and what you were understanding and what came up for you to experience. And now... 18, 19 years later, chances are you're very different. Um, and so you're going to be meeting those similar themes, but as a new version of yourself. So if those were hard years for you, that doesn't mean this is going to be a hard year for you. It just means that you're revisiting those themes and checking in on how much you've grown since then. Um, and you know, if you look back in hindsight and say, okay, well, what did I understand in 2001, 2002, um, that I couldn't it's almost like being able to go back in time. What would you tell yourself back then? Well, use that knowledge and that wisdom and apply it now in your life. Apply it now. And I'm even seeing as I say this, um, the archetypes of many different divine feminine expressions showing up like in a, in a circle, like a circle of, of female energies. And if you visualize this, you might see archetypes of yourself in previous lifetimes and how that feminine energy was either embraced, accepted and expressed or was not. And for many of us, we have lifetimes of that feminine energy being repressed, um, being held back, being, you know, kept locked away in a tower, um, the persecution, the prisons, the judgment, the shame, um, where you couldn't fully be in your splendor um, with everything that you wanted or needed. So there's a lot about this energy that just feels like it taps into some ancient origins. So look at what comes up for you throughout June. I also think, um, you know, another part of these retrograde planets 
is that they, they're regressions. It's a planet in regression. And you think about even past life regressions and how you go back to previous stories, previous energies, previous things that your soul has experienced. Um, and also cancer can be stuck in the past. There's something about what you've been learning that you now carry forward in this new cycle with this mega eclipse. And it's almost like, yeah, you might have to take one step or two steps back to collect the information, but it's only going to serve you for the best. It's only going to help what you're ready to, to blossom and grow going forward. So it feels like a really beautiful mega eclipse. Um, it's obviously quite powerful. And again, the energy lasts into next year, into 2021. So this is the inception point of the intention. Go to this house in your chart where zero degrees of cancer is. And I do have a video for you on YouTube here about how to find a degree point in your chart. So watch that video if you need help. And know that this is an area of your life that's ready to receive, receive this new energy and begin this new cycle. And I hope that helps you connect with the new potentials and possibilities going forward, especially after you know what we've been moving through in 2020. This is a reminder that life goes on. Life is meant to grow and develop, and all you have to do is look at nature to see that, the continual unfoldment of energy. This is um, a, a blossoming energy that takes us forward. There's something world changing. There's something about um, what we need to be aware of um, that is going to shift how we live our lives. But ultimately, I feel like it supports people who have done their work and now they're ready to receive what's truly in their heart. So what is truly in your heart? And make that a very clear intention because uh, I can certainly show up here in this next cycle. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate you watching, liking, and sharing these videos. I do the podcast for you every Monday and Wednesday, and I also have for you a monthly webinars that talk about the full energy for every month. So I have one for June, and there'll be one for July, and that's another way to get a heads up on the transiting energies and what's happening for you in your own natal chart. So thank you for allowing me to connect with you through astrology as we voyage through this year together. And I'll see you back here soon for another video.